talked a lot about template, templated messaging earlier. So know what, who, and how. So focus on that contextual communication. So contextual communication is about bringing together the right information at the right time with the right group of people to collaborate and solve some tasks. It is about improving business process by providing customized communication tools that are much easier to use than today's general purpose tools. So how does that fit into CHOP? How does that fit into CHOP with Everbridge? We, under, we need to understand our hazards. So what is your most frequently occurring event prompting communications? We did that use case analysis and that's how we started to build some of these templates. We looked at our hazard vulnerability analysis and we, we populated that together. Additionally, going back to some of that alarm fatigue, our message sender. So when we're sending emails to these targeted, uh, targeted groups, most of the time if it's coming from emergency preparedness, we label it CHOP emergency, but we're also able to spoof and ghost some of our emails to say, for instance, if it's a facilities notification to facility staff um, about a utility failure, we're able to have that say facilities, or if it's coming from information services, we're able to label that as such. So it's not constantly coming from CHOP emergency or CHOP emergency communications, so we're not fatiguing that emergency and we can reserve that to higher impact items. So define your audience. Situational awareness versus action required. Who needs to be aware? Who are your decision makers? So for us, we have an all hazards incident management team, which is a skill set uh, that's labeled into uh, the attributes in, the, uh, in their particular Everbridge profiles. So and that's dependent on their role. So if they hold a certain role or if they're on call for a particular service, if they're on call for a particular um, department, they are serving on the all hazards incident management team. And this team gets notified of any impact to the hospital or any impact to uh, operations. So understand that level of communication. There's really not um, a, a perfect science to this yet for us. We, we still continue to learn what our best practices are, but we have found that sending things text only is very convenient in most cases, but we've been saved by the escalation in a lot of cases because they didn't see their text. They didn't see their text on either of their phones, but when it did finally call their phone, they were able to answer. They were able to get the notification out. And we use uh, our escalation intervals um, are anywhere from zero minutes to 15 minutes. Um, most of them sit around five minutes. So uh, I took a snippet of one of our uh, standardized templates. This is a power failure notification. So depending on the impact and our security dispatchers will work to triage that information but we like to notify our staff with either situational awareness or action required messaging. Most is just situational awareness. We have a failure in, in one of our areas, uh, a power failure, and that site may not be open or that area may not be providing service at that time. However, uh, it may be action required because we may be providing service in that particular area at that particular time. But of course, it's action required for some of our electricians. So all of our templates are pre-populated with location, impact, action required, and callback information. So we want to know where it's happening, what the impact is. So is there impact to patient care? Is there impact to staff safety? Actions required, what, what's expected of, of your recipient? And callback information, because you know, we can only fit so, so much information into, into a text message. So if a leader does need to call back and contact, the person who requested the activation uh, will provide their contact information there, or otherwise it will be the security command center who will be able to walk uh, and, and talk through this with, uh, with anyone who's concerned. Additionally, we're able to use a variety of different methods for populating this. So you'll notice under the rules, so we're hitting the job role for the electricians. We're hitting locations, the main hospital. So again, this is all a fluid rule uh, based on our um, HRIS system, based on that feed. So if, indiv if individuals transfer, leave, move, get added into um, a department or in the enterprise, Everbridge knows that and nobody's maintaining these lists. Our all hazards IMT is hit for all of these notifications and uh, I threw my name up there uh, just to show that if for any reason we need to ad hoc hit any individuals additional to those groups, we're able to do that. And then we define our methods. So this is our standard. So we have our CHOP issued mobile text messaging. We have our personal enrolled mobile text messaging. CHOP email. SkyTel is an alphanumeric paging system as well as what we consider to be other personal text. And that's text messages that may not fall, uh, the devices that may not fall into the other categories but can receive text messaging. 